What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. In this video, I wanted to start a little uh, series. Something I've been wanting to try out for a while. This is going to be a, a 1v 1 million. And what we're doing is I'm, my, I'm intending to take the, the hero units from this game. All of your generals, commanders, Chuck Norris's, John Wick's, etc and basically place them against a million of each of the standard armies or just you know base unit armies you can in this game and i figured what better way than to start with the just generic evil zombies so i got a got a million zombies kind of spaced around in a little box quadrant around mr wick right here i haven't altered him in any way this is just the base game so it's kind of a litmus test just to see how how well these hero units do when they haven't been buffed or anything else like that and same with the zombies i haven't touched them or altered their stats at all either so be kind of interesting i've been wanting to do this for a while just to test these units just to see what they're capable of before i go hog wild and add you know a, like a thousand of these things or ten thousand in them and they just decimate millions of units at a time so we'll go ahead and start this off with john wick versus a million zombies let's get it on Look at them dual pistols popping off. Ooh. He's already getting getting hammer fisted. I'm not even gonna possess John Wick. I just wanna see just how long he holds out. I think his base health was ten thousand. He's just focused on this one side. He's just shooting straight through him. Ooh, okay. All right. So, not even 6,000. Very interesting. All right. Well, since that was pretty underwhelming, again, base... Oh, look at that. What that neck do, though? So, yeah, base John Wick. Nothing too crazy. Uh, kind of figured as much as he only had 10,000 HP. I figured he would die pretty quick. But we got Nikola Tesla right here with his uh, little uh, Black Ops Thunder Cannon type pistol. Uh, same thing, just base 10,000 health, Mr. Tesla. So let's see what kind of damage this guy can rack up. He's got that power stance. All right, definitely kind of waited, waited a little longer than I thought. But dang, look at that area of effect. <laughs> that thing's got some splash damage. That is definitely the uh, the thunder gun from Call of Duty. <laughs> Can only imagine how crazy this thing is, or how crazy Mr. Tesla goes when you like buff him up a little bit. That thing's pretty sick. This is shooting a straight line through like 50 zombies at a time. <laughs> that looks so sick from overhead. <laughs> Just carving a path. I feel like his kill to death ratio uh, is much much more intense than John Wick's I can just tell already by the, the mountain of bodies he had going oh yeah he almost doubled what Mr. Wick did so 10,000 not too shabby on to the next alright so now we got the femme fatale herself Miss Annie Oakley with a little uh, dual revolver action, single army action, revolvers going on. Uh, it'll be pretty interesting to see how she how she stacks up compared to uh, the previous two. I, I'm going to take a guess she might be... I don't know. She, I feel like just because they're going to be revolvers, it's probably going to be a slower rate of fire. Probably will do a little worse than uh, John Wick, so... But let's see if she proves me wrong. She is the, uh, the sharpest shooter in the West. 
Ooh, okay. She got some AOE splash damage going on. Managing that recoil like an absolute boss. She is that girl. She is definitely that girl. <laughs> and she is sending those bodies flying. Wow, that was quick. All right, yeah, I think I, uh, wow, not even 2,000. <laughs> I mean, I, I had higher hopes for that. It seemed like she was popping off there for a minute. All right, all right. on to the next one. Next up, we have Mr. William Wallace, a.k.a. Mr. Braveheart, Mel Gibson himself, all bedazzled in his blue face paint. All right, let's see, uh... All right, so he's got a little more health, so see what kind of damage the old Wallace can do. I'm very curious to see what kind of uh, AOE cleave damage he's got in that sword. Ooh, that's a pretty slow attack. I mean, he's got more health, but I feel like it ain't gonna stack up the amount of kills the other three have done. Ooh, that was a pretty, uh, pretty wide sweeping attack there. <laughs> it's like he's like half, half blocking, counter and parrying some of these zombies. You just slap them around, all right, though. Boom. Oh. One thing that'd be pretty crazy to see this game add over time is like more in-depth gore to be able to like hack limbs off and cut bodies into and stuff. That'd be pretty crazy. Be probably uh, pretty graphic intensive though for this game. Well, I think Mr. Uh, Mr. William Wallace is probably going to be the worst out of the four so far. And he's still clinging on, though. I feel like any minute we're going to see him get keeled over. <laughs> Just a sea of the undead versus one man. Well, I'm definitely impressed with his, uh, his durability so far. <clears throat> I feel like his uh, his blocking slash like parrying is definitely definitely helping with that. It is definitely like a an animation that he's doing with that. Hard to tell how many bodies he slayed because they're all getting just flung all around the map. I love these shots, they're so crazy. Boom! Right in on the action. <laughs> Next! Shink! Next! Shink! You know, so far, he's definitely probably been the most impressive. He's holding out pretty long for a for a base game hero unit. He's he's kicking some some serious ass.
His kills aren't super impressive, but he's he's still stacking them up. <laughs> Chick just got sent straight up in the air. <laughs> Serving out a sword beaten. Alright, just over 3,000. He's still holding on pretty strong. Nope. Spoke too soon. Wow, well, 3,400. I know the kills weren't impressive, but his health and his stamina were definitely uh, surprising. And next up, we got the queen of Egypt herself, Miss Cleopatra. She about to slap some fools around with uh, some Egyptian wizardry. So let's uh, see what happens. Oh, she's shooting fireballs. Oh, she's smooth with it. She's got... <laughs> I didn't even see what kind of health she got. Okay. So it definitely has the most health so far out of all the other heroes. She she is she is stacking up an actual freaking pyramid of death over here. <laughs> He's like, forget bricks and mortar, I'm gonna use freaking flesh and bone. Chew wee. A single one of those attacks. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Building a, a human corpse volcano. All right, she might be the uh, the most impressive so far. Extra toasty. <laughs> Just a single swipe of the uh, of the wrists, boom! It's got to be at least 40, 50 zombies in one fell swoop. Oh wow! Okay, I just got a lot quicker than I thought. But see what that body count do. Only seven thousand? Wow! I I felt like that was gonna be a lot more. Just from that little pile of bodies, I thought for sure that'd be over ten thousand at least. All right, that was still, uh, that was pretty impressive. Well, as we survey the Sea of Undead right here, we're gonna end it at this part right here. I'm gonna pick up again with the, the rest of the heroes, as there are still plenty more to go through. So thank you all for watching and sticking tuned to the end. Um, I will be uploading part two here pretty, pretty soon. Uh, so be sure to check that out and see who stacks up as the, the best of the best amongst the, the undead. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out.